Hi booktube, it's Andrea here and I'm going to give you part one of my August wrap up. Um, this is the first 10 books that I've read in August. I'm currently on a total of 17 and we've still got a few days to go. So I thought I'd do it in, in two parts because so, I've never read so much in my life. Okay, so the first book I read, and I'll put a picture of it here, was an ebook from Annette Galley for a, a honest and fair review. And that was Domestic Goddess by Deborah Schneider. So Bailey is a successful television presenter. She runs a TV show uh, where she gives you home help hints and tips. She's known as the Domestic Goddess. She is wrapping up her current series and her new series is supposed to be the next season is supposed to be about her wedding to her fiance and the whole um season is going to be about her planning the perfect wedding and how to do it however on the last day of filming just before she goes on air she uh, walks into her dresser dressing room to find that her fiance is dressed up in women's clothes because he is transgender and this is the only way you can think of telling her. So of course that relationship goes off. There's no way that the next season is going to be about her wedding. So she wraps up her season and goes home for the weekend. I think it's for a birthday party or something like that. On the boat going home because she lives on an island. Her parents live on a, or her mother lives on an island. She meets Max. Max is a handyman. He's a builder, construction worker and he and she, she get talking, sparks fly, la la la. Um, he wants to renovate her mother and her mother's sister's business, which is called The Lodge, and it's like a guest house. So first of all, she thinks he's only interested in her because he she wants the job, but little does she know that he's already got it. Her and her producer come up with the idea, well, wouldn't it be great if the next season focuses on the renovation of The Lodge? So that's what they do. And of course, Max and Bailey's relationship. It's a really fun read, really quick, absolutely loved it. I gave it four out of five stars on Goodreads if you haven't read it. It's a fun summer read, go pick it up before summer's over. It's just so sweet. The second book I read was another ebook, and I'll, again I'll put a picture of it up here so you can see what the cover looks like, and it was called Kill All The Lawyers and it's Paul, by Paul Levine. Steve Solomon is a, uh, a lawyer. But he has a secret from his past, which I'm not going to tell you because it would be a spoiler. Basically, somebody he defended is out to get him because this person went to jail. This person is now a successful radio psych psychologist type person, but he is also a killer. We know that from the start. Steve has a love-hate love relationship with his partner Victoria. They, they're planning on living together. She's his partner in the law firm. He doesn't want to do a big corporate law. He only wants to do law that benefits people but it doesn't bring in much money. Everything he does makes him look like a complete and utter madman because this uh, psychologist is really really clever. So the, the, basically the premise is can Steve save a child's life, catch the killer, sort everything out with Victoria, and her mother who hates him by the end of the book. It's a good book. Very fast paced, really enjoyed it. Again, four out of five stars. I'm giving so many four out of five stars this month, it's unreal. Another NetGalley ebook I had was Only the Willing from Alison uh, Cosgrove. Um, it's about two hard, two hard cops, Jane and Stan. Um, they are homicide detectives. A killer is killing uh, redhead prostitutes. He's escalated way beyond. Nobody had picked up the link before because they were redhead rather, you, you, even if they dyed their hair red, he would kill them. But of course their deaths and everything would be reported with their natural hair color. So there you go. Um, but he's escalated. The last prostitute he killed, he literally ripped her to shreds. In fact, it made me think of Jack the Ripper when, it, when he did it because the way he decimated her body. The only thing he didn't do, which Ripper Jack did was her face he left that alone so they've got to find him before he kills anybody else it's a really good story it's a really fast paced I did enjoy it but I found the ending was just a little bit too quick for my liking it was oh they know they're after me even though they didn't know who he was he tries to run and that's how they find him so then they get him and it was really it was a really let down I thought the ending but I still gave it three out of five because it was still good and the writing was lovely yeah, another ebook. You can tell at the beginning of the month I do ebooks. <laughs> You'll find out why there's lots of ebooks at the beginning of the month 
not so many towards the end, was um, by Leanne Dobbs and it's called Spellfound and it's about some sisters who are magical, they have magical gifts, so one can sense ghosts, one can heat up pebbles and throw them. And they have to find this historical relic which is a scrying ball that was hidden during the time of the Salem Witch Trials. So you've got Salem Witch Trials, excellent, always like a bit of history. You've got some magic, but they don't believe in witchcraft, which is odd because they've got these amazing gifts. And they have to come to terms with the fact that there are such things as witches and spells, and one of them is actually more in tune to spellcraft than the other three. Um, yeah, it was really clever. They put everybody in it, including the bad guys who were after the ball, scrying ball as well, but you didn't know who they were. It was great, and it was quite a bit of a twist when you found out who it was. I should have thought it should have been obvious, really, but it really wasn't. It was that well written. And I gave that one four out of five, I think. I haven't put it in my notebook, but I think it was a four out of five. And the reason I read four ebooks before I even got onto a uh, physical book was because I was reading A Clash of Kings by George R. R. Martin. I don't need to tell you a lot about this book. It carries on where um, A Game of Thrones, the first book left off, tells us more about the Starks, the Lannisters, um, the Targaryens, and various other families in the uh, place uh, world that uh, Martin's correct, uh, created. I loved it. I actually really liked this one. I preferred this one to A Game of Thrones actually. I don't know whether it's not. It's because I've read the first one and I was settled in and I knew the main characters and he hasn't actually killed off anybody I like yet which is great. Um, nearly but not quite. I, I just really loved it. It felt like coming home. It felt like I was with old friends so I really enjoyed that one and I gave that five out of five because woohoo why not. The sixth book was On the Road by Jack Kurak. Now, I've already posted a review about this, um, which I will link in the do read below. Um, loved the writing, but that's about it. Really, I gave it two out of five stars. So yeah, I will post the, the, the link to the review below, just simply because I'm not gonna go through everything I thought about it now because I've done it. Then I read another ebook, and this one was called Ash, and it's by Jared Hunt. Asher Benson has this special ability. He can read people's minds. It's not that great, because obviously if you can hear what everybody's thinking 24 hours a day, it's going to drive you nuts. He got it while he was in Afghanistan or Iraq, or one of those places in a war, and he was, he was injured. He has found the only thing that can dull the voices is alcohol, so he's on the borderline of becoming an alcoholic. Um... It's actually really well written, a really good story, and basically the premise is that there are other people like him, the government has been using them as spies, there is one who's gone rogue, he was abandoned because he'd been captured and he was left to, to, to die basically. He escaped. The difference is he can also control minds, so he can make people do things, so he makes an entire um, IT unit jump out of the windows and kill themselves. So he's very very strong and Ash and his fellow friends, I say friends because they sort of get involved without wanting to, he's got a friend who's a cop and then there's a woman he met at a bank robbery because he just went in and stopped it because you do that when you're a hero and then of course there's one of the women who was from the, the IT unit who was on a different floor at the time of the mass suicide so she got out and she's in it as well. Um, and basically the premise is, is, can Ash stop this man from assassinating the president before it's too late? That's the premise. Brilliant book. Gave that one four out of five stars. And these free ones from, uh, some of the free ones aren't from NetGalley, they're from Amazon. They're free Kindle downloads. I found some brilliant books and authors that way. Absolutely amazing. So the next physical book I read was A Day in the Life, Marin or A Day in Life by April Vivea. I gave this five out of five stars. Again, I have posted a review, so I will link that down below. I'm not going to go through it now. Lovely book. I'm glad to have this on my Marilyn shelves. And the next book and the final, not the final book, because it's book, book nine, but this is the final physical book, there's only four of them so far in this half, there's more in the second half, is Hollow City by Ransom Riggs. So this takes on where the last one left off, and they're travelling from 1940s Wales to London to try and find other peculiars and the Imbrins, if they can, so they can rescue Miss Peregrine. Lots of twists and turns, lots of adventure. We learn a lot more about the peculiar children and their, and their gifts and abilities. We learn a lot more about Jacob. It's, 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 a, it's just a great sequel. More brilliant vintage photographs, which I love anyway, being a 
amateur photographer, I just love photographs and I, I just love it. I mean, oh, if you really want to know who loves it most, go see Jesse the Reader. He absolutely adores this book. So yeah, this one's a really good book. I have got Library of Souls as well. I'll be getting to that probably in September. I'm trying to sort of spread them out so I'm not reading them all in one go because that would be terrible. Oh. And of course, um, Ransom Riggs' new book comes out soon, which is Peculiar Tales, which I will be picking up as soon as I can. So that's the last of those. Yeah, read that one. Five out of five stars, Ransom. Yay! And the last book in the first half of my August wrap up is uh, another ebook. It's called Best Foot Forward. It's by uh, Tammy Dern, and basically, Grace is going out with Brad um, for a few months. He tells her he loves her. And mentions the M word and she freaks out because she feels like she's losing control. The older sister she's always been in control, um, she's got four sisters and a brother and she doesn't like it so she breaks it off with him and every time it's sort of like they're getting back together she breaks it off again. Um, yeah it was an interesting book and I gave it three out of five stars but I, I did find that she was a little bit annoying because she kept breaking it off for him for no reason. It's like for god's sake you just want to shake the woman. So that is part one of my August wrap up. I'll be back soon with another book haul and I will see you soon.